Foreign Minister Teodoro Luxing Jr. thanking China for its continued help to ASEAN member states in fighting COVID-19 pandemic. Let's listen in. And industries. ASEAN's relationship with China for almost three decades has been dynamic, wide-ranging, and far-reaching. With COVID-19 ravaging the region, this has only strengthened our partnership. We have strived our hardest to mitigate the wide impact of the pandemic in numerous innovative ways. ASEAN and China have enhanced the health sector cooperation since our special foreign ministers' meeting on COVID-19 last February. We have made collective efforts in sharing information and best practices, in capacity building across relevant sectors and industries, in the provision of medical supplies and assistance, in supporting the creation of the COVID-19 ASEAN Response Fund, the ASEAN Regional Reserve of Medical Supplies and Equipment, and the ASEAN Center on Public Health Emergencies and Emergencies. <coughs> we thank China for its continued help to ASEAN member states, including the Philippines. With these efforts, we hope to bolster our region's resilience in dealing with the pandemic. Designating 2020 as the ASEAN-China Year of Digital Economy Cooperation has proven auspicious. Now, more than ever, digital technology takes center stage in view of the pandemic. We have harnessed the power of digital technology to provide ICT-enabled responses to COVID-19. The pandemic has digitally overhauled our lifestyles, rendering obsolete how we did, how we did most things, making it imperative to do things radically different as we have not on this scale before. We have turned to ICTs for telemedicine consultations, e-commerce, e-learning. ASEAN and China's earnest collaboration is crucial to catalyze digital transformation. Excellencies, the spotlight is on us. We cannot show signs of slowing down. ASEAN and China must continue to enhance our connectivity, especially through implementing the joint statement on synergizing the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity 2025 with the Belt and Road Initiative. Excellencies. When it comes to the South China Sea, our collective aspiration to agree on a mutually beneficial, effective, and substantive COC that would contribute to regional peace, security, and stability is in accordance with international law, including the 1982 UNCLOS. As country coordinator, the Philippines takes pride in the continuous progress of our resumption of the COC negotiations in the midst of the pandemic. We will get a lot done a lot faster. As the Philippines is the next host, we will meet face-to-face -face no later than November. Thank you, Excellencies. Meanwhile, Malaysia